That sounds like the big man! How dare you threaten me! Jurgen? He's dead! You fools! We're sorry! Please! We surrender! Please forgive us! No! What is the meaning of this? They got exactly what they deserved. These poachers tried to blackmail me. They said that if I didn't let them continue poaching, they would tell the world how the Kataro clan collaborated with them. What? The rules of the clan are absolute. It was a big mistake to bend them. But mistakes can be corrected. Were you the one who killed Jürgen? Yes, that's right. I killed him. And once I kill all of you, it'll be as if nothing ever happened. But, but... He isn't Zhao anymore. We have no choice but to destroy him. This... is a nightmare. I'm sorry. Betray me! Hilarious! Okay, I thought I figured out what was gonna happen, and that was not it. <laughs> this is just too cool. Team up with Yunze. Alright, weak to guns. Perfect. Alright, we just gotta protect the lease. Um so we got arc fire, dead eye. Um Migrating Sparrows would be good, so we'll put that on that. Oh god! I'm just- I wanna- I wanna do the thing! All right, good job, Muse. I just wanted to do that once. Oh my god, Chow is a fucking beast. Like, Chow is hardcore. I, I, god damn it. He's so cool. Get him! Oh no! Oh. God damn it, we were so close. Okay, I just, I, I feel, I, the thing I was expecting was, like, Zhao's gonna show up, kill poachers, and it's over. But now, but instead, Zhao kills Jurgen and then kills poachers, and then we kill him. And I'm like, oh, well, wasn't really expecting you to kill Jurgen. <laughs> God, I love that. I love the thing with Muse. I'm pretty sure you can do it with other characters as well. But, um... The thing where you can just, like, dash backwards like that. Oh, he summoned dudes? You can't summon dudes. That ain't cool. I'd like it if you left. Okay, what are we at? 69,000. His health always looks like it's like lower than that. So. I don't have too much to say. This. Oh my god! That is so cool. I like how he just grabs me like that. I keep doing Sniper Barrel, but it does a lot of damage, so I just like using it. Okay, I'm just going to do this now. Oh. He's getting ready for the Mystic Art. I know he's not the Chow I knew, but it was really good to see him again. 
Yeah, of course. I mean, it was good. It's just like he... Catalyst does some crazy stuff. <laughs> it's a sad time. to get what you asked for. Huh? That stuffed animal you wanted. The bunnykins. They're made from poached monster fur. They are? I'm the chief. I have to uphold the rules. Please forgive your stubborn old pop. But never forget this. You are my sun, my moon, and my stars. My beloved daughter, Elise. Father! Father! Good man. No bunnykins. No more bunnykins allowed. That was far more than anyone should have to bear. But... Luger was just doing his job. Just like the big man was doing his, and Luna was doing hers. If Luger doesn't do his job, our world could end up kaput. If Luna had actually listened to me, things might have ended badly just like they did for Zhao and Jurgen. It's true. Chaos often ensues when people in power let their personal feelings rule their decisions. Luger, the big man, Luna, they're all nice people, but they all have responsibilities, which means making choices they don't always like. And yet, I got mad when they didn't listen to my selfish wishes. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, because, you know, you're a kid. It's it's okay to, to think that way. You're young. You you have time to grow. And you know what? You should tell Luna what you just told us. You know, we all make mistakes. We're all learning. Everyone. So, it's okay. But I've been ignoring her for so long. She may not even listen to me. Forgive me for interrupting you at such a busy time, Chancellor Marcia. I'm here with a mutual friend of ours. She has something she would very much like to say to you. It seems she was expecting this call. Luna... Uh... I mean Chancellor Marcia. You can call me Luna. Luna, I'm sorry. I was wrong to get mad at you. I know you had no choice when you did what you had to do. I'm sure it made you sad. I'm sorry I said such horrible things to you. I guess I'm just a selfish child. Elise, it does take a great deal of wisdom and maturity to put aside your feelings and do the right thing. Just as it takes a pure heart to question whether such an act truly needs to be done. It's something we jaded adults lose sight of far too often. So, it's okay to stay a child? It's okay to grow up while staying yourself. Your pure heart might put a stop to ill practices others have grown to accept. It might convince them to think twice. I understand. I'll do my best. You really are like the perfect big sister, Luna. <laughs> Although I'm closer in age to an end. Would you mind if I texted you again? Of course not! We'll be watching our GHS! Thank you. You're very welcome. Although it's a shame that Bunnykins continues to elude us. Actually, 
We've been thinking. I'm going to take Elle shopping and find her another stuffed animal instead. Who knows if we'll find anything as good, but I'll explain the situation to her. Not exactly the ideal big sister result, but I hope she'll forgive us. I'm sure you will find something wonderful for her. But we'll have to rescue her first. We're coming for you, Elle! Got that right. God damn it. That was so good. I love that. God, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Luger! You're a biggest too! I'm so sorry. We sorta accidentally saw what was in your laundry basket. God damn it. How could you? <laughs> oh man. I really like that they made up and everything. That was good. Um, let's try one more time on that. Oh, that was good. That was good. I'm sorry, I, I get emotional during those scenes. And it's okay to be a child. It's okay to grow up while also maintaining said, you know, things, you know, childlike wonders and stuff. It was good advice, and I liked it. I like this game a lot. Alright, well, we finished up Elise's chapter. That was really good. I really like that. So, now we're going to see what's in Kambalar. So, let's go ahead and head up here. Hey, man, do you mind uh, letting me on? Alright, and Jude's here. I actually really wanted to do Jude, so let's go ahead and do Jude. Continue Jude's story. Let's do it. Jude Chapter 5, Where Dreams Once Thrived. Celsius. The ice spirit climb is quite intense here. Yeah, you thought it might make you feel a little more at home. It is quite pleasant. We're ready to show you those places you remember. Any preference for the order? Under their current names, the areas are the Kajara Sea Falls, Fenmont, and Fort Gondala. I'll leave it to you. But, just make sure Fort Gondala is last. Oh, why is that? You asked if I had a preference, and I answered. Fort Gondala is a military installation. We should probably ask Rowan to get us permission to visit. Good idea. I'll give him a call. In the meantime, let's start by visiting the other two. Take me to Kijara Sea Falls, or this Fenmont of yours. Well, Kijara Sea Falls is a bit harder to get to, so let's go there first, since I like doing that kind of stuff. Alright, so where do we need to go to? At the very end, pretty much. Fuck that. And when I say fuck that, I just mean I'm gonna enter through the other side. <laughs> Uh, mostly. Okay, so we're still gonna have to walk a little bit. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. I totally forgot that Celsius was like, hey, I wanna go places. I wonder what's at Fork and Dollar, though. Hmm. I guess we'll find out in due time. I do have to say, like, Elise's chapter is probably one of my favorites. I really like the whole... I like Zhao, first of all, but I also like her growing up and learning things. And I don't know, I enjoyed that. So, let's check what's here. This is just as I remember it. Cool and relaxing. So it's always been like this? They say that couples who stand at the top of the falls develop an intense bond for each other. Daredevil lovebirds used to scramble up there all the time. One man in particular was persistent in inviting me as well. Did you go? <laughs> I am a great spirit. I have little interest in participating in human traditions. But I did enjoy watching other humans do it. I see. It must be an important human custom. 
Actually, I've never heard about it. Hmm. Then perhaps it's fallen out of practice. Shall we give it a go? Yes, why not? And you needn't worry about slipping. Undine will make sure your fall isn't fatal. Not fatal? My nostalgia is satisfied. You may do as you please. All right. Then we'll be back in a jiff, okay? Are those two always like that? Yeah, sort of. They, they're pretty close. <laughs> yeah, they, they're pretty close. It's cute. Interesting. It feels like only yesterday that he and I talked here. Has it really been 500 years? <laughs> we went all the way to the edge. Maxwell, I didn't think you'd actually go through with it. The view was worth the trip alone. And you should have seen Jude. Mila, I told you to pretend that never happened. <laughs> That's right. I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. But if you found it upsetting, I shall suppress the memory. Well, in that case... You don't have to forget it, but just keep it between us, okay? Very well. It shall be our secret. <sighs> well, that was certainly fun. On to the next stop. Poor Jude. Now, I'm sure he enjoyed it. He's kind of a masochist. That's fine. <laughs> but, uh, the secret of Jude and Mila. <sighs> What's wrong? Have you caught a cold? No. I'm fine. It's just a normal physiological response. But you were splashed with a significant amount of water back there. I knew I should have. Mila! It, it's fine. Honestly, I'm good. Hmm. Oh, man. I kind of want to ask, though. I'm doing it. I gotta. I... I can't tell you that. <laughs> Luger's reaction is just so amusing. It's because of the way you're talking, Jude. You're making it sound like we did something scandalous. Huh? No, it's not that. We didn't do that. The harder you try to keep it a secret, the more people will wonder. It's basic human nature. I understand that, but still. I know. I'll keep my promise. Which means I can't tell you. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. I understand. YouTube, keep being cute. I may go to Fenmont now. <laughs> All right, back in Fenmont, uh, we just gotta go right over there, which is great. So let's check out what this is. What a strange little city they've built here. There wasn't a building in sight last time I was here. Just an endless field, perfect for watching shooting stars. Wow, that sounds nice. People used to say that if you wished upon a shooting star before it vanished, your wish would come true. The human who brought me here loved those silly superstitions. He taught me all sorts of them. Hmm. Eh, I'll just ask this. No. Jude is slowly melting the ice around Celsius's heart. I'd only get in the way. Celsius taught me a 500-year-old method for making wishes come true. Want to give it a shot? A spell for granting wishes? Interesting. That does sound like the sort of thing humans would enjoy. Let's try it. Here. You move your hands like this while you make your wish. Hmm, intriguing. Yeah. Did you ever make a wish with anyone? Back in the day? I... 
Don't recall. We've made our wishes. Shall we move on? I wonder what he wished for. <laughs> As if asking now would do any good. Man, I really want to know who this guy is. Okay, Fork and Doll is the last place. Let's do it. I'm like, I gotta know now.